Did you know clothes can change how you feel? They can transform your mornings with a boost of confidence, even on those days that it feels elusive the moment you wake up. Discover the power of clothing to influence your mood and set the positive tone for your day. Hi, I'm Joy Kent, founder of Wearing Your Greatness. Did you know clothes can change how you feel? They can transform your mornings with a boost of confidence, even on those days that it feels elusive the moment you wake up. Discover the power of clothing to influence your mood and set the positive tone for your day. You do this by understanding three design lines, and they are the silhouette, horizontal lines, and vertical design lines. In fact, when strategically put together, magic happens. I'm having my assistant Mary model outfits that I see at the Macy store in Roseville, California. Today, she is wearing a Casper jacket, bar three shelled blouse, um, Tommy Hilfinger pants, on 34th faux um, pearls, and then INC block heel pumps. Our featured body shape is the V body shape, where the shoulders are significantly wider than both the waist and the hips. Waist and hips appear to be even. Feature body proportions, short between the chin and the bust, long between the waist and the crotch, the torso and the legs appear even. Let's get started. The first design line that I'll talk about today is the silhouette. It's the outside line of an outfit. It's the difference between the shoulders and the waist, waist and hips, hips and shoulders. It comes in two categories, angular and curved. The angular category, the shoulders, waist, hips appear to be all the same width, while the curved category, the waist is significantly smaller than both the shoulders and the hips. Your body shape gives you clues to which category. So if your body shape falls into the angular category, then you look for angular silhouette. If it falls into the curved category, then you look for curved silhouette. Our featured body shape is the V or um, inverted triangle, where the shoulders are significantly wider than both the waist and the hips. Waist and the hips appear to be even. This body shape falls directly into the angular silhouette. So let's look at this outfit. And the best way to do that is to look at the side seam. When you look at this side seam, it does go in a little bit to the, in the side, as you can tell there. And you can look at, see it also in this picture. But this really isn't significantly smaller. So it doesn't really fall into the, into the curvy category. But with our featured body shape being the V body shape, the shoulders are wider than the waist, having a little bit of an indentation here it makes this area a bit a little better. Now there's some women who like it a little wider at this area, but if you're not one of those women, you can always have this taken in. So then it looks like the waist, the shoulders are wider and then it goes straight down like that. So it, that could very well work for you. So let's now look at the top. Now this top is made on the bias. And what that means is that normally, an outfit is made with 
um, threads going perpendicular to the ground and then woven in and out parallel to the ground. And that makes a very stable um, garment, piece, um, piece of clothing. Well, there's some designers who flip that and make it so that it's at the 45 degree angle. And what happens is that it, there's more play here and then it also molds to a body. Mary has an, a curvy body shape. She's an X body shape. And this one, so you can tell that it molds there, but with our Z body shape, it's gonna mold with that too. And it does have slightly a curvy um, silhouette, as you can tell in this picture. But as I said before with the jacket, it does work well because our, the shoulders are so much wider than in this area. And also the, that also translate from the chest to the waist. And if you're one who doesn't like it so full in this area, you can have it altered very easily. Or on the top, you can always, um, you can have it um, tucked in if the horizontal line at the waist works. And we'll talk about that in the next section. So all in all, this does work well for most um, V body shapes. Now let's look at the pant. I've said before, pants usually in the ready to wear market have an angular fit. And you can tell that by either it has nothing about the fit on the tag or it says regular or um, regular fit. This one has nothing on the tag. And you can tell also with Mary, she has a curvy body shape. The waistband is really wide for her. And you can also tell by hanging it on a hanger that you can, in this picture, you can see that the waist and the hips appear to be the same width. So this outfit, curvy, the silhouette works well for her. The next design line that we'll talk about are horizontal lines. Horizontal lines, they're gonna stop your eye, emphasize that area, make it appear wider and shorter. Your body shape, body proportions give you clues to the placement of these design lines. For body shape, you want to avoid them in your wider areas because it's gonna make those areas appear even wider. And it brings emphasis to those areas. But you do want them in your thinner areas because it's gonna bring emphasis to those areas and make them appear wider. Our featured body shape is the V or inverted triangle where the shoulders are significantly wider than the waist and the hips. Waist and hips appear to be even. So let's look at this outfit to determine the placement of horizontal lines. And how you do that is where does your eye stop? So we come up here and it's gonna stop a little bit because of this notch that's here, but it's not gonna stop that much, but it's more about this bow. And then it goes down and then we have a pocket um, on either side and you go down and then you have the hem of the jacket and the hem of the sleeves. The blouse, it goes to the, at the hip area for the hem of the blouse. And then you also have the ties, which we've already talked about. And then the, hem, the pant, the waistband is top of the waistband, which is at, um, it's a mid-rise, so it's below the belly button, and then the bottom of the waistband. And then it also goes down to the ham, and this is a, a boot cut um, pant. So let's look at these horizontal lines for our um, featured body shape, the V body shape. 
So we want to avoid horizontal lines up in this area because we don't want to bring emphasis to this area because um, that's going to make that appear even wider. So this is fine right in this area. But we do have the tie that's going right here. So many V body shapes, they ha have are bigger chested and so their bone structure is wider here and then they also are bigger chested. So having this might not work. I've seen both V body shapes with big chest and small, smaller chest. So depending on, for you, do you want emphasis to come to this area? And then with the waistband here, or the pocket here at the waist, it works fine. And because it's gonna bring emphasis to this area, and then the hem of the jacket or the hem of the top works really well because that's going to bring emphasis to the um, hip area. And it's going to make those that this area appear wider, creating better balance with the shoulders. Now, she if she is one who has um, is fit and has a slimmer tummy area, she could have the top tucked in if she wanted to. But many, also many V body shapes, when they gain weight, they gain it in the bust and they gain it right here in the belly. They have zero butt. And in that case, I would wear it out if they have weight here. But if they don't, they can very easily wear it tucked in. And then I want to talk about the hem. And you might say, well, Joy, how does that have to do with the torso? But because this is a boot cut, and it's not a really wide leg or a flared leg, it's just slightly boot cut. And what that's going to do is that's going to make that horizontal line, and it's going to help make create balance with the shoulders. So that's just another area of how you can create balance with the shoulders. The horizontal lines for the body shape work really well in most cases. But you have to consider this one, if that's gonna work for you or not. For your body proportions, she's short between her chin and her bust. Now having this right here, it's not really a wide one. It's not gonna take care of that whole area. It just brings emphasis. So it's really not gonna make this area appear shorter. And especially with the vertical lines going on in this area, which we'll talk about in the next section. The horizontal lines created by the pocket and the hams work really well. And also along with the horizontal line created by the pant if you wear it tucked in. And having all sorts of horizontal lines for the torso versus legs, she can have as many as she wants because she's even between her torso and her legs. So the horizontal lines on this outfit work really well for our V body shape and our featured body proportions. The next design line that I'll talk about are vertical design lines. Vertical design lines move your eye up and down, make that area appear thinner and longer. Your body shape, body proportions give you clues to the placement of these design lines. For body shape, you do want them to go through your wider areas because it's gonna move your eye through that area and make it appear thinner but you don't want them just in your thinner areas because it's gonna make those areas appear even thinner, your wider areas appear wider. For body proportions, you do want them in your short areas because it's gonna make those areas appear shorter, but you don't want them just in your longer areas because it's gonna make those areas appear even longer. 
Our featured body shape is the V or inverted triangle where the shoulders are significantly wider than both the waist and the hips. Waist hips appear to be even. Body proportions, they are short between the chin and the bust, long between the waist and the crotch. The torso and the legs appear to be even. So let's look at the vertical design lines on this outfit. And the way you find that out is where does your eye move up and down. So let's start at the top. This neckline and necklaces move your eye down because it's a V neckline, works really well. And then the lapel also moves your eye up and down, which goes empties into the center front. There are princess lines. There's two of them, in fact, that go from the shoulders, goes down to the pocket, then from the pocket down to the hem. And this also goes into the back. The tie could also be a vertical line if you chose to wear it that way. So you can also have a vertical line there, but I chose to style it with the bow. The pant has a vertical line with the center front because the center front opening, there's always at least one a seam or an opening right in front. That is a vertical design line. And then this pant also has a crease that goes from the top of the leg all the way down to the hem. So let's look at these vertical design lines for our body shape, our V body shape. Having vertical design lines up in the shoulder area is perfect, especially with the lapel and the two seams for the princess line, because it's gonna make the shoulder area appear thinner and it moves your eye away from that area. So you have multiple vertical design lines on this jacket. That is perfect for our V body shape. Having the vertical lines that go from all the way to the shoulder, all the way down, that helps really move the eye away from this area. But it's not just in your thinner area, so it works really well. And then having these other vertical lines in this area is going to help make that area appear short, thinner, and not this area appearing thinner also. The tie can also be that vertical design line. Now, if you are one of the people with a V body shape who are really big busted, you can take the emphasis away from your bust by having a vertical line just like this. The pants center front, since you're not really, it's not being shown, it works well. And then the center front, if this, if the jacket didn't have any vertical design lines, and then you had this center front um, crease, then that could help make the the hip legs and the hip area, this whole area appear thinner and that wouldn't work. But because we have so many vertical lines up in this jacket, they can wear a, a, a crease up and down the thigh and it works perfectly. And this is why I always say it's so important to strategically place your horizontal vertical lines so that they all come together. And that's where the magic happens. And this is how you can transform your mornings with that boost of confidence. In this video, I showed you the design lines on this outfit. The ones that created the silhouette, horizontal lines, and vertical design lines. I hope you see clothes and design lines with a whole new perspective. If you like what you saw, subscribe and share it with your friends. I'll be uploading a new video every Wednesday. Want to feel even more confident and supported? 
then download my free PDF called Not Feeling Supported, then change your bra. Because when the girls feel supported, you're gonna feel supported. In this PDF, you're gonna find out about three ways your bra is not supporting you and how to fix it. You're gonna find the links below. So why is it important to understand design lines? Because clothes change how you feel. They can help you feel like you can conquer your world, allowing you to pursue your passions, to create impact, and make your world a better place to live. Wear your greatness today.